Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Monster Tamer News, the segment on this channel where we go over the past week's happenings in the world of monster taming. Now, this week we have some big news including Ark Survival Evolved 2, which completely came out of left field, a potential spiritual successor to Monster Sanctuary, a pretty big monster crown update, a brand new buddymon footage, etc. So, with all that being said, make sure to sit back, relax, and let's dive right in. Okay, so let's talk about the dinosaur in the room. Ark 2 has officially been revealed, which came as a surprise to absolutely everyone. Ark is a sandbox survival game that's known for its expansive updates, and I would have never expected a sequel. What's even more interesting is that the cinematic trailer in question features CGI Vin Diesel and is, again, cinematic in comparison to the survival and sandbox nature of the first game. It's been confirmed that the sequel will be a sandbox survival as well, but this does raise a lot of questions. Will Ark 2 feature more of a story-focused campaign with the sandbox survival aspect taking a backseat, or will it function like a typical open world game that just happens to have those elements? It just seems odd to put Vin Diesel, an expensive actor I'm assuming, into the game unless uh, you're going to use him for something. But again, there is always the possibility that this was merely done for the ad campaign and he's not actually in the game. Anyway, seeing Ark 2 exist is almost like seeing Minecraft 2 pop up. That's why so many people were sort of blindsided with this information. Monster Crown just released an update that while technically isn't a content pack, definitely rivals the first two with the amount of changes made. Now, firstly, there's a respect system by which you must earn your monster's respect in order to increase their levels beyond a certain point, and there are more restrictions when it comes to breeding. These changes were made to keep the game challenging for people like me who overleveled their monsters to the point where we can basically just one-shot everything in the game. Uh, taming is also primarily tied in with the remaining HP of the foe instead of your monster's level. These changes Changes will mostly affect people like me and not so much players that just play casually. This is for the min-maxers and the uh, over-levelers. Other than that, they've added some new side quests, uh, chief tamer battles, which are basically like high-stakes boss battles for keeps, an easy mode for those that need to uh, get good, and some other miscellaneous changes and fixes. As usual, for the full list of patch notes, you can check out the Monster Crown Discord or Twitter. The final Stardust Kickstarter is now about halfway through its campaign and has already raised 12,000 euros, which surpassed its 10,000 euro goal. Furthermore, we get a look at a brand new Planos that currently doesn't have a name, but it's looking pretty good if I do say so myself. The concept art we've seen so far for this game is really good, so I can't wait to see more of these mons, and furthermore, I'd love to see them implemented in the game as well. I'm really excited for that. We've also been given a look into one of the game's OST tracks, so let's take a listen. Now speaking of music, the Quorum on Twitter just uploaded a brand new track for the town of Pawbury, a spooky town located near a swamp. Here's a snippet of that. The Coromon team also started a devlog over on their Discord which outlines their weekly progress. This week they've implemented a new gauntlet, some early evolving mechanics for certain mons, and full screen modes up and running, so that's always good to hear. The Kindred Fates Alpha has entered Wave 3 with a few notable changes since we've last talked about it. The vast majority of these updates consist of bug fixes, uh, remedies to latency issues, some balancing adjustments involving items such as the rations being nerfed and more. Nothing crazy like new stages or kinfolk or anything like that, but I do think that these tweaks will eventually end up affecting the meta in a big way. Okay, so this to me is some pretty big news and came straight out of the developer of Monster Sanctuary's mouths, which we interviewed on the Monster Taming and Chill podcast this week. But before we get into that, Monster Sanctuary is now officially out on Steam, Xbox One, PS4, and Nintendo Switch. Uh, if you'd like to see a review of the game, I got you covered as well on that. But anyway, so the devs came on the podcast and teased that they're going to be most likely working on a brand new IP in the monster taming genre. This is really exciting to me because some of the devs we've spoken to have already said that they'll be venturing outside of the monster taming territory, but it looks like Mo'Rai is going to stick right here where they belong, which makes me 
me really happy. I'll definitely make sure to keep you guys updated as more information on this game comes out, and I'm looking forward to covering it moving forward. Mr. Buddy, a YouTuber you may all know, has recently uploaded a video showcasing nine minutes of Buddymon footage whilst also answering commonly asked questions about the game. Most notably from this video, he mentions them working on a stamina-based battle system, trainer upgrades, a skill tree, and more. I'll leave a link to the video in the description should you want to check it out. We got some Costume Kingdom news this week, and that's that the game is currently out on Steam, and we are also doing a giveaway courtesy of Josh in our subscriber Discord. As usual, feel free to come on down and join us for the fun. In Abami Nation news, Carl over at Orange Pylon has revealed yet another new Abami, and this time it's Oxalotter, the evolution to Autel, and this one is a water and electric type Abami. What's even more interesting is that Carl states that now with this Abami, every single type combination is available within this first generation of Abamis. Next up, we got some news from a couple games we haven't covered yet on the channel. So first up is Xenoscape, a monster taming bullet hell. The developer recently released a short video showcasing the starter monsters and the decision you'll have to make at the beginning of the game. The second new game we haven't talked about is Sky Climbers, an open world monster taming RPG with action combat. As you can see, the devs recently showcased some of the monsters and the stylistic choice is looking quite nice. Over to Ova Magica, we got some more blobs to coincide with Ova Magica's advent calendar and they are as follows. The Demon Blob, the Mushroom Blob, the Hedgehog Blob, the Bee Blob, the Mooncap Blob, <coughs> Sailor Moon, the Magma Starter Blob, and the Pig Blob. Some of these have been revealed previously, but they're sort of intertwined with the ones that are, are new, or at least that I haven't seen yet, so I figured why not just show them all off. Okay, next we'll transition into rapid fire mode for the rest of this week's smaller or quicker to explain updates. So, Fordsoft, the studio behind Eternal Exodus, recently dropped a dev blog that reveals two new dungeons for the game, and that'll have us rounded off to four. Ninth Dawn 3 just released its heavily anticipated roguelite mode, which consists of 100 levels to explore. Temtem just launched its PS5 early access, now we just have to have our fingers crossed that that Zipanku update will come out soon. The Anatons Kickstarter has ended and the campaign was unsuccessful. At this point, they'll be reaching out to publishers for funding. We got a new Firebird monster for the upcoming Disc Creatures world, I really like this design on a side note. Relegend recently had an update and it just includes various bug fixes. Here we got a brand new Moncraft animation which I can only assume is tied to the capture mechanic. Then we got a clip for a brand new Mythin for the upcoming title Mythin Island, I'm personally really excited for this game. A new Druggymon attack known as Ganja Javelon was showcased this week. The Laxidays Discord server just revealed a new Nanim, this one being the pre-evolution to Lang Skipper, it's called Lockle, and it's this little thick boy right here. And finally, Ooblets is updated to version 0.5, which includes the winter update. This will add snowy weather, obviously, uh, plant heaters, and quote-unquote a brand new friend to the game. So yeah guys, it's been a pretty busy week overall. I'm really excited to check out the new Monster Crown update and see some more Buddymon action as well. What's even crazier is that this spiritual successor to Monster Sanctuary has so many possibilities. What's it going to be? Is it going to be in the same sort of vein with the same level of technology? Are we going to see something in the future, something further in the past? I'm really excited to see what goes on with that. But anyways, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe for more monster taming content. You can follow me on Twitter at GymLeaderEd. You can also check out my Discord if you want to join for that Costume Kingdom giveaway. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.